Imagine a world where every single human being vanishes in the blink of an eye. No warning, no goodbyes. Underground, it's worse. Without engineers manning the pumps, subways in London and New York flood in just 36 hours. Most power plants need human workers to keep running. Without us, the lights go out. Tonight is the last night. But the first tragedy isn't buildings. It's our pets. Millions of dogs and cats are locked inside. Nuclear power plants have backup generators. But after 10 days, the fuel runs out, the cooling stops, and the heat begins to rise. With electric fences down, zoos become open buffets. Predators enter the concrete jungle to reclaim their territory. Without firefighters, a single lightning strike burns entire cities to the ground. London, Los Angeles, and Vancouver vanish in smoke. One month in, 450 nuclear plants melt down simultaneously. Radioactive clouds sweep across the northern hemisphere. But as the radiation settles, something beautiful happens. Without us to cut it back, nature begins to devour our civilization. Decades pass. The sky lights up. 30,000 satellites lose their orbit and rain down as beautiful artificial shooting stars. Down below, an invisible enemy attacks. Oxygen reacts with iron. Rust eats through the skeletons of our bridges and skyscrapers. Without heat, window seals crack. The gleaming skin of the city peels off, crashing onto the streets below. Five centuries later, our shopping malls are forests. The concrete jungle has become a real jungle. By year 300, the Eiffel Tower fights its final battle against gravity and loses. The Iron Lady falls. 10,000 years later, our skyscrapers are dust, but the structures we built from solid rock. Future geologists won't find our bones. They'll find a layer of crushed plastic bottles embedded in the planet's crust, our forever footprint. When the next ice age arrives, glaciers will act like giant erasers, scrubbing the last traces of our northern cities off the map. Ironically, our longest lasting mark isn't on Earth. On the airless moon, Neil Armstrong's footprint remains. Give it enough time, and Earth forgets we were ever here. The planet didn't need saving. It just. The only humans left alive are the six astronauts on the ISS. They watch the lights go out below, knowing they can never come home. On the ground, a different crisis unfolds. Billions of farm animals are trapped in automated cages. When paradoxically, some animals will miss us. Head lice and city rats depend entirely on humans. Without us, they go extinct in weeks. Marine life isn't safe either. Without maintenance, thousands of oil rigs rupture, coating the oceans in a black, toxic blanket. The internet puts up a fight. But without air conditioning, the servers overheat. All of human history, Wikipedia, YouTube, TikTok, London shares a similar fate. The Thames barrier fails. The capital of England reverts to what it was to geography determine his destiny. Without pumps, the Netherlands surrenders to the ocean in just three days. Amsterdam becomes Atlantis. In Dubai, the sand acts like sandpaper. Relentless storms strip the glass off the Burj Khalifa. But in the desert, things are different. Las Vegas doesn't rot. It gets buried. The dry air mummifies the and the leaning tower of Pisa? Yeah, without engineers holding it up, gravity wins that battle in just a few years. Timber, wood rots, rock erodes, but plastic? It's chemically immortal. Your water bottle will outlive your great-grandchildren. Concrete isn't solid. Moisture rusts the steel inside, expanding it like a balloon until the concrete explodes from within. Paper is fragile. Without climate control, every book in every library turns to mush in less than a century. Want to be remembered? Carve it in granite. Mount Rushmore will be the last recognizable human face on Earth. Bad news for pugs. Artificial breeds vanish instantly. Only the strongest wolf-like dogs survive the new world order. The Hoover Dam holds back a trillion tons of water. But without maintenance, the pipes clog, the dam bursts, wiping out downstream cities. Timber. While our dams fall, nature's engineers take over. Beavers reclaim the rivers, turning dried up parks into thriving wetlands. Above us, a chain reaction begins. Satellites collide, creating a bulletproof cage of high-speed debris. We are trapped on Earth. It's not just radiation. 
Rusted tanks leak chlorine and ammonia. Invisible clouds of chemical death drift through the suburbs. Ocean currents sweep our trash into one place. A new, indestructible continent forms in the Pacific, made entirely of garbage. Think cockroaches survive anything? Wrong! They need our heating! One cold winter without humans, and they freeze to death! Termites, however, throw a party. Without pest control, they devour every wooden structure on the planet within 150 years. The oceans go quiet, no ship engines. Whales can finally hear each other again. Their population explodes to ancient levels. And at night, without light pollution, the Milky Way shines down on the silent cities. A view we haven't seen in centuries. The air clears instantly. Without cars and factories, the smog over Los Angeles and Beijing vanishes in just two weeks. Venice doesn't last long. Without constant dredging, the canals choke with silt. The wooden foundations rot. The Panama Canal locks fail. The Atlantic and Pacific Oceans mix for the first time in three million years. Massive ecological war. Gold lasts forever. But paper money? It turns to mush. Billions of dollars become... The Statue of Liberty is tough, but her arm isn't. Corrosion eats the bolts. Eventually, the torch plunges into the New York Harbor. Art is fragile. In the Louvre, humidity swells the canvas. The Mona Lisa cracks. Even the Doomsday Vault fails. Rising temperatures flood the tunnel. The world's backup supply of seeds is entombed in ice. On Everest, bodies don't decay. The fallen climbers become frozen statues, preserving modern hiking gear for thousands of years. The wars finally end. Without oil and cleaning, gun mechanisms rust shut. This century, within... While Earth rots, Voyager 1 keeps flying. In the vacuum of space, our golden record will survive. Solar panels survive, but they stop working. Just a thin layer of dust and bird droppings cuts the power to zero within a few years. The rich survive a bit longer in bunkers, but when air filters clog and parts break, their luxury shelters become high-tech tombs. Domestic pigs don't stay cute. Within months, they grow tusks and thick fur, reverting to wild... The cloud is actually a mission. Without repairs, sharks, snacks, steel buildings fall, but bronze statues endure. Thousands of years later, these green metal figures will be the only people left standing. To warn future species about our nuclear waste, we built hostile architecture. Giant fields of... The atmosphere thanks us for leaving. Without pollution, the ozone layer heals completely in just 50 years. Radiation is bad, but humans are worse. Chernobyl becomes a thriving wildlife sanctuary. Nature would rather face uranium than face us. Ceramics don't rust or degrade. Our most lasting legacy won't be computers. It will be millions of pristine white toilets. Rivers break free from their concrete straitjackets. The Mississippi carves a new path, drowning cities and creating new canyons overnight. The Golden Gate Bridge needs constant painting. Without it, salt spray eats the cables. The Ionic Red Span snaps, snaps. <laughs> new York isn't gray anymore, it's green. Skyscrapers become vertical forests. The streets of Manhattan iron returns to the earth. Every car you ever own disintegrates into a pile of red dust. Only the tires and glass remain as evidence. Our broken windows and beer bottles are smoothed by the ocean. Future beaches will sparkle with multicolored sand made of polished glass. Without water control, Niagara Falls eats its own cliff edge. It retreats upstream seven miles, eventually turning into a steep... Gravity cleans the sky. The cage of space junk slowly burns up in the atmosphere. The orbit is open for business once more. Time heals even the deepest wounds. Nuclear waste finally decays into harmless lead. The forbidden zones are safe again. Sunken skyscrapers become the world's largest coral reefs. Concrete skeletons teeming with millions of fish. A neon metropolis underwater. Our radio bubble drifts away. The last episode of Friends, the last news report, eventually fades. Even the sky forgets us. Earth wobbles on its axis. 20,000 domestic cats evolve quickly. They grow larger and wilder. Your fluffy pet becomes the new apex predator of the urban jungle. Our bones turn to dust. But our medical implants? 
Titanium hips and gold teeth don't rust. Diamonds really are forever. Long after the jewelry stores have rotted away, millions of cut gems will lie scattered across the ocean floor. The Earth moves on. Tectonic plates collide. Africa smashes into Europe, erasing the Mediterranean Sea and building a new mountain range. Wait 250 million years, and the map is unrecognizable. All continents merge into a new supercontinent. Even stone dies. Relentless sandstorms eventually sandblast the Great Pyramids down to nothing. The desert reclaims everything. Will a new species rise? Intelligent descendants of raccoons or crows might build the next empire, wondering who left all this plastic behind. Culture. The sun gets brighter with age. In 600 million years, it gets for photon 99 Orthesis. Eventually, the oceans boil. All water evaporates into space. The blue marble becomes a dead, dry rock. And just like that, we are gone. The universe continues without us. But for a brief, shining moment, we were here. They dig up our smartphones. To them, they are just mysterious, polished black stones. They have no idea these held all human knowledge. And our statues? Finding millions of plastic garden gnomes, they conclude, we- Let's rewind a bit. Imagine alien archeologists visiting Earth in 100,000 years. What would they make of our ruins? Our garbage becomes their treasure. They mine our landfills, treating compressed plastic as a rare, precious geological element. Ultimately, the human era is a blink of an eye in geological time. We are guests here. And guests eventually leave. The experiment proves one thing. The planet doesn't need us. It will recover, evolve, and thrive. We are the ones who need the planet. Did this timeline scare you or gov you hope? Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss the next catastrophe. What should we destroy next? A black hole? A zombie virus? Or maybe infinite rain? Let us know in the comments below. Click the video on the left to see what happens if you stop sleeping. It's a nightmare. Thanks for watching.